Um, so originally I'm from New York. I've been in the fashion world for 20 plus years. I've done wholesale, I've done retail. I've always had private clients. I'm a woman to Florida two years ago. I said, you know what? Instead of going and working with someone or for someone, I'm gonna try to do it on my own. And hence, Anya Lux was born. I do it all from personal shopping and consulting. Really, my goal is to build confidence in women, make them feel good. I work with a lot of business women that are also moms and so on, or some are just moms and you know stay home. And that's the world that that's the work that they do. Um, in any case, my goal is really to build confidence through the art of dressing. And I always encourage you to shop your closet before you shop out of your closet. Meaning, wear what you have, put looks together with what you have. I actually, have a service called Shop Your Closet where we put looks together with what you currently have and then we add in what you actually need so once we have like an outline of what needs to be added in you go into Ash Boutique and you shop here. <laughs> and that's how it would work. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about spring trends going into 2020. Um, fashion shows, right now we're looking at fall, but runway shows happen a few months back. And I don't know how many of you guys watch like what's happening in the world of fashion or trends and all of that, but there's a lot coming at us. So we have the 70s, we have bright colors, we have short shorts, we have long shorts. There's, you know, there's really no rules to fashion it feels like anymore and everything is in style but it's kind of updated and more sophisticated now. So I'm gonna run down some of the trends that I'm looking at. So one of the things is sustainable fashion, which is your crochet, not your grandmother's crochet, but like a new updated crochet, but it's handmade by somebody in Ecuador or Bali or whatever it might be. So it's a lot of that sustainable fashion where instead of a robot or a factory doing it made in China, it's really coming uh, with love and by buying it you're helping somebody else in a different country and maybe even in America. So we're saying we're seeing a lot of raffia, a lot of crochet, Fendi, Marnie had it in their fashion shows and the fashion world is really moving towards that. Um, some of the things that I saw here that I absolutely love to kind of incorporate that trend into your daily life is bags like this. You also have a lot of tops and dresses that are in that crochet material but I think if you're going to say like how do I follow this trend going into spring summer these are some of the most perfect, beautiful pieces. Um, so another thing I just want to add about this bag, just because I'm holding it, we're seeing it's all about right now pinstripes, and you're seeing that here, and black and white. Um, really graphic prints are in, so like this polka dot top, which I was going to talk about later on, but since I'm wearing it. So this isn't your classic polka dot top. We're seeing a lot of polka dots. They are going to be huge for the summer. They're going to be huge going into fall. But what's great about this is it's an updated polka dot. So it's not like what we typically think about polka dots. It's more of an updated graphic polka dot. Mm -hmm. So here you also have the black and white pinstripe suiting is huge right now. Um, and everybody always talks about mixing feminine and masculine. It's not just about mixing feminine and masculine. It's really owning your suit and being confident when you're wearing it. Um, and that's where the masculinity comes in. So you're looking at suits that are a little bit wider. They're not as fitted, although you can absolutely do fit it. So when I say fashion is kind of all over the place, that's what I mean by it. You know, we're looking at runway shows and we're seeing these ginormous suits walking the runway. Well, how many of us are really going to wear shoulders out to here and bring it back to the 80s? But we can absolutely mm -hmm. still do it. Yeah, sure. I, I know, me too. But not all of us, right? I was going to volunteer you. But not all of us would be comfortable with that. And then we're seeing hot shorts, which are like the really, really short shorts. But we're also seeing suiting with Bermuda shorts, with the the shorts that are over the knee. So there's so much happening right there, but you do want to look at shorts. Um, I should actually has a lot of really cute ones. So something like this, it is short. Just so, so Chanel Runway did, um, he did a short leather short, but instead of just leaving it as a hot short, meaning it's really, really short, he put black leggings underneath it. So it kind of, the illusion is a little bit classier, but you still have that look. So there's a lot of ways to play with what's trending and kind of make it your own and have the confidence to wear it. Because the whole idea is, you know, things might be trending, but if you're not confident wearing it, no matter what you put on yourself, it's not gonna work, right? Because you always wanna, whatever you're wearing, you have to be confident in what you're wearing. And that's the only way that it's gonna look good on you. Um, we're also seeing a lot of things that have a lot of tears to them and very flowy pieces. So it's all about that flowy, bohemian, easy, chic look. Um, so we're seeing a lot of that as well. I love this little girly sleeve that she, oh, you guys are actually wearing it. And this is a bodysuit. You wouldn't know it's So guys, it just stays tucked in. So it's like, it doesn't come up. So what's great right now is bodysuits are back and they're huge. And that is the best thing ever because A, there's a lot of bodysuits that suck you in, which 
Like sometimes. Um, and then, you know, it's really controlled and it's also nice because when you talk in, you don't have like, you know, you're like fidgety with your talk, like you're going into a meeting and everything is coming out and you're fidgety yeah. and you're not sure what's happening. Body suits kind of keep it all in place. It's nice. You could wear it with a higher rise, which I love that high rise is in now, like because it really, so you know, it elongates you, it, it, it pushes everything in that needs to be pushed in for those that need it. Me being one of them. Um, this is another fun dress. Anything printy is great. So the colors that we're seeing going into summer, but specifically going into fall, is pistachio and peach. I don't know what's with pistachio and peach, but it's going to be the hottest thing. Um, and we're seeing opposite. So we're seeing neon colors, which I love this top, and we're seeing head-to-toe neon, but I kind of personally would incorporate it with a simple top and just a black suit. You know, this is a great way to incorporate a trend without overdoing it and still feeling comfortable. Unless, of course, you could pull off you know, a hot pink or a hot green head to toe, then more power to you. Like, you know, I'm all about it. Um, so I kind of love this print because also the whole animal print is in, it's still trending. The other thing that's trending is colored leather and colored suede, which we don't have anything here, but just something to think about. Suede for suede. For what's fall. really going into fall, but you have a lighter suede and lighter leathers that they're showing. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that you see on the runway shows doesn't necessarily get incorporated into our daily life. And maybe if you live in like Florida, it's a little different. In New York, it's still cool. So right now they're gonna start doing spring trends. They can wear a light suede jacket or leather, but just like, you know, things to keep in mind when you are shopping, when you're out there. Um, this is also great showing the color palette that's going into spring, summer. So you have your pastels, you know, necessarily pistachio, but kind of in that family. Um, and don't don't be afraid to mix prints and colors. So last time we were we were oh, yeah. here, I pulled that and I was like, I was pulled this out. So <laughs> even though this color does not in exist this. in this piece specifically in these shorts, but, but because they're all in the same color wheel and they're same circle, same family, it still works together. So don't be afraid to mix color and color and play with prints. Um, because I am part of this group now, feel free to text me and just be like, Hey, Anna, is this working? Is this not working? Does this go? There's like two charge for that just because you know I do want to be part of this group and I would love to help you girls as much as I can so I feel free to do that but you know something like that is absolutely gorgeous uh, we're also seeing flowers which I love so this is a great piece you know where it's a, a full jumper and again this isn't for everybody but that's the beauty of fashion there's something for all of us and maybe I wouldn't wear this because you know, it's a lot of print for me and it's head to toe and it's definitely something for somebody taller. You know, I might do something like this where it's more fun, right? Oh, I like that. I love this. This is a great piece. So again, it's all about that ruffle look as well and this has that. Um, so when we're talking about suiting, pinstripe is huge because we are going into men's suiting. Um, so in men's suiting, the vest is back, so the three-piece suit for women, which is, this is where the masculine feminine comes in. A three-piece women's suit is huge right now. We're seeing a lot of vests walk the runway as well. So it goes into like the pinstripes and you know, a lot of textures, mixing fabrics and all of that. Silk is huge, so like think of, you know, a beautiful large silk scarf as a dress. And that's really big right now as well. Um, and then just a couple of things that I love about this boutique. I think what's great about this is, you know, a lot of times when people talk to me, they think it's all about like luxury and spending a lot of money on clothing. That's not true at all. To me, it's all about mixing the highs and the lows and really being smart when you're shopping and looking at the details. So you're looking at fabric, you're looking at construction. So when I touch something like this and you know, I love this, it's really it has a beautiful sellers. soft hand. But details like this, where you have the explosive, this is where the luxury comes in. Because anytime you're looking at like a Dolce & Gabbana or like the luxury pieces, they will do the expose just as an extra detail. Um, you know, again, something like this, a lot of fun, classic and sophisticated. Also beautiful with the heating. This is where I was talking about the whole trend with the silk scarves. This kind of has that vibe to it, where it's print and silk. 
The other trend that I'm not loving, but apparently it's huge right now, mm -hmm. is from that 70s. They're doing a lot of the exaggerated colors. Yeah, which, I don't have any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah, I can definitely sell it for a photo shoot. I don't know yeah. how many of my clients are see wearing it or myself. Yeah. Um, we're also looking at the wallpaper prints, mm -hmm. as they call them. So, like, if you think about like the '70s and the '80s wallpapers that were like really princy and colorful, yeah, like the Ditsy print, the Ditsy print, yeah, all of that everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So. This is why I actually pulled that yeah. thinking, thinking yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, I just completely went off my list, but this is why I pulled something like this. Um, and I guess, I don't know. Let's see, let me let me see if I missed anything. Do you guys have any questions for me? Yes. <laughs> that silk skirt that you just showed, like yeah. what would you pair that with? Um, you could even do it as simple as this bodysuit. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Cool. You know, and maybe I uh, just like a really good. Yeah, that looks oh, so that's so perfect. Um, so, and I would actually do like a chunky necklace to it. When I was talking about Raffia, you also have earrings like this. So, any one of these earrings would be so much fun with it to so kind of bring it all together, tie in the colors and do all of that. Like, I love this earrings. Right, so this will kind of tie. Accessories always tie outfits together. Um, and even like, you know, a bit like. Hold on. Uh, I hope I don't get makeup on it. But even if you were to do this chunky necklace or this outfit, it would be a lot of fun. I do, yeah. A t-shirt, yeah. And then sneakers. So sneakers are still a thing, absolutely. Sneakers are still a thing. 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 Yes. 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 And you could do like a pair of converse with it. You could do a big goose. It all really depends on your budget and what you're looking to spend on. Sneakers are never it will never end because this is Ash Boutique's uniform. As Ash should go and get the boys or little bit of boot skirts. I'm serious. T-shirt. That's that's our uniform. Um, so something else that I want to mention, I besides personal shopping, I also work with brands to help them grow. The brand that I'm wearing today is called Rock and Divine. Rock and Divine is all about rocking your edge. So whatever rock your edge means to you, which kind of goes back to where what you're comfortable with, what gives you the confidence. Don't always follow trends too closely. Really do what you love. Um, so rock and so what 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 Ash is wearing is a slice diamond. Um, so Miles, the founder of the company, this is a New York City-based company. He worked for Rappaport for many years. If you guys know, Rappaport sets the diamonds price and they do it around the world. So they're literally the trendsetter for diamonds. Are they 14 karat? Everything is 18 karat and you get to select if you want it in white, in uh, yellow or in rose gold. It is all beautiful, beautiful cut diamonds. You're gonna get the highest quality diamond with all of these pieces. Again, he sources the best diamond. A lot of the pieces are one of a kind. So some of the things that I'm wearing, like this black dagger necklace, it's going to be one of a kind. I also have the black dagger ring on. And again, it's all about stacking. And I love that trend. Right now, the trend is to stack your jewelry and really have fun with it. And this brings it. So you start with one ring and you kind of add in. Um, so something like this is going to be one of a kind. So oh, if I buy this, I'm the only one that's going to have this. Now, can he make a similar one? Yes, but no stone is the same because diamonds are obviously special and unique and it's, you're never going to get the same cut, the same diamond. And he doesn't want it to be manufactured where it's the same, you know, so I'm looking for another idea. Um, so they're not going to live here in Ash Boutique. However, if you guys are interested in any of it, if you go to rockanddivide.com, I can definitely come to your house if you have a birthday coming up, you want to get yourself a gift after anniversary, whatever it might be, I could always come to your house and show you the pieces and do like the more of the concierge service with these pieces. And again, you can see it all online. The other thing that I want to mention about Rock and Divine, originally it was sold in stores. He decided to pull and sell directly to consumer instead of selling it retail. So what that means is you're getting the wholesale price of these pieces. So where normally a diamond like that in a store would cost, let's say, $5,000 or $4,000, 65% markup on jewelry. Here you're getting it pretty much at cost. Not the cost of making it, but like the cost that it goes to the store. So I think it's just an amazing thing to think about. You're really getting high quality at a great price point as well. Um, any questions? Can I answer anything else? I feel like I went off my list and now I'm confused. <laughs>